once again, here I am eating somebody else's food. We have my man Hector. Yes, sir. Hector. My man Hector. Where you from, Hector? From here. Where I was born in California when I was a kid. Stop came it. Here. No. <laughs> Where you from? I'm from here. No, originally the people. Oh, Mexico. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, my, dad. my name Hector. I'm from. <laughs> My uh, my mom's from Guadalajara, my dad's from Sinaloa, and wow. my wife's from Sonora. So we got a little bit, a little bit of uh, about, uh, everywhere in Mexico. So what do you guys serve? What's your what's your biggest dish here? Our USDA Prime, USDA Prime. You you, you taste the meat. You saw what it was. Um, we have only three meats, only three proteins: asada, pasto, and chorizo. The reason for that is because we want to excel in everything we do. And in order to do that, we have to keep the menu small. Mm -hmm. People come and ask. What's good on the menu? I tell them, close your eyes and point, literally. That's huh. what I tell them. <laughs> huh. So I, I tried to, I tried to be, and normally when I get carne asada, yeah. it's like they'll cook a game over that night and it'd be all old. Yeah. This shit was more just juicy, huh? Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So that's when, it, and I normally don't stop at food trucks because they don't have sour cream. <laughs> yeah. Now why don't, have, why don't y'all have sour cream? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. The sour cream on, on the on the burritos is not a Mexican thing. I knew that. That's an American thing. That's an American thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, that's that's Americanized. Um, I wouldn't say Tex-Mex, but it's definitely an American thing. Gotcha. That's so, why we don't do sour cream. Our sour cream is our guacamole. You know, that's basically it. The guacamole was creamy. Yeah, exactly. Now, how long you been doing this for? We started selling out of our backyard September 9th. We did that for three months. Only Fridays and Saturdays from 5 to 10 p.m. And then December, we got the food truck and we've been here since December. So, so we want to come, we want to have our people come see them. We're, sorry. you're not going to be here. Where we at? 83rd? 83rd and Camelback. You're not going to be here. Next Thursday is our last day here. We're going downtown. So, so, so next Friday, y'all. Yeah. yeah, next Saturday. Saturday. So Saturday. we're closing Friday to get everything we'll set up Saturday. for Saturday. Okay, next Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday April 20th. Oh, we're going to be at Club yeah. uh, <laughs> Oh, that's 20, for, oh, 420. Yeah. Oh. And it's my birthday. Oh, I'm be I'm sweet. Yeah, and it's my birthday. So get out of yeah, here. Yeah, so. All right, so 420. Y'all going to be hungry for tacos anyway. Yes, sir. I know you. Yeah, on know Grand you. and 12th Avenue. So when you're on your way to Dirties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shout out yeah. to Dirties, y'all. 12th Avenue. Uh, we're on uh, 1209 Grand Avenue. That's where we're 1209 in. Grand yeah. Avenue. Yeah. Pull up. Hold Let's up. eat. Yes. If anybody say they see it on YouTube, yes, he gonna give you five percent off. Ten percent off. Damn. Ten percent off. Ten percent off. If, right. If you come and tell me you you saw me on this man's video on YouTube, ten percent off to you guys. All I right. Hope we got a lot of carne inside All right, we do. We stay low. We don't sell out. I don't believe in selling out. Because you sell out, your money stops. So I don't want my money to stop. The last person I interviewed. Ran out of food. I said, why don't you cook more? He said, we cook to sell out. No. And then he was there. No. You, you, how are you going to I want the whole cow. Yeah, I want the whole cow. We, uh, the money the money stops, so we never sell out. We now, how much are your tacos out. around? Our regular taco is $4, but you saw it's a loaded taco. It was. Our it taco was. Don Hector, our specialty taco is $6. But it's loaded. I mean, you get four with two of them. You don't need more. What's that other thing I had called? You had the vampiro. Vamp Look, the vamp vampire vampiro. Yeah. That shit was vampamo. That, that's that's, a, that's a toasted tortilla with cheese, the meat, um, cabbage, tomato sauce, and guacamole. It was like a tostada. Yeah. But no. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. It, but it's, it's like, like it was cooked more. It's a tostada, you got a little cheese. It's a it. tostada, but it's our own tortilla, and we leave it on the griddle long enough to get toasty. Okay. So it's, we so it's we don't tostada use tostada. We make it ourselves. What? Yeah. All right. So I appreciate you, Thank man. You, man. Thank We're you. We're gonna be back here. Thank you. Um, Mo Money. Here we are in Phoenix, Arizona. This is where it all goes down. Right now, we're on 91st Avenue in Indian School. This is a great location for a taco truck. Wait, we hear he's going to a new location. So we wanted to come here and give you the real deal on where the next location would be. Chow down Arizona, y'all. Wow. They got beans in the pot. I think those are pinto beans with no pork. I'm looking around. Look at the salsa, the guacamole, the onions. Everything is looking good. And they get right inside this truck and they make it happen. This is what I love about the streets of Arizona. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna taste these. I'm gonna try the beef taco first. Let me show you what it looks like. Let me see, beef taco is just like that. Not bad. 
Now, for some reason, they said they don't have sour cream here. I'm gonna ask them about that in a minute. So, we shall see. Now, I like my carne asada with sour cream. Without sour cream, I don't know how it's gonna taste, but we're gonna see right now. Let's go. Yeah, we got that. This is good. I had to see if the flavor kicked in, but I bit the taco and the motherfucker bit me right back. <laughs> Excuse my language, these kids over here. All right, so the taco is good. Now the tostada is good as well. I'm gonna take a little lime and squeeze it over the carne asada meat. They say that gives it some kind of twang. I don't know. And then I'm gonna take, he has raw, I mean, sorry, cooked onions and peppers already ready. So I'm gonna take a couple of those, and put on my tostada. And we're gonna see how it goes. Yep. I didn't get the burrito, but I'm looking at someone eat one in front of me. And it looked good. So, the taco on the scale, three tacos, scale of one to ten, I'm going to give the taco nine. Now, normally, I only taste one taco and I go go to the other, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat both of these, because they're good. Mm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's funny, it's not a meat, it's not, it's fresh. You know how they cook it, and they have the big old pile? Now this shit is fresh, real fresh. So, and it's not greasy. Mm -hmm. Napkin, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we're over here. Now he's going to a new location. Yeah, his food is off the hook. There's no need for you to sit here and watch me eat. I'm going to interview him and see how he makes his food taste so good. Look, you already know. If you go to a spot to eat some food and everybody there is Mexican, you know the food's good. All right, so this is good. Uh -huh. This is called a Vampuro. This shit is bomb. I think I had it before, but not like this. They put some extra cheese underneath it. And then put the guacamole. I still like a little sour cream, so. Let, I'm about to bring my own sour cream like I bring my own um, ketchup. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up, five stars, scale of one to 10. I'm gonna give it a nine. If they had sour cream, they get a 10. Food was truly good, I had a great time. The guy who worked here is the nicest guy in the world. We gotta, we gotta pump his new location. He's moving to a new spot. They won't let him stay here no more. So he took everything he got. He's about to make it happen. So we gonna try to support him, y'all. We gonna just pull up on him like Tuesday, 20 deep. Let's go. <laughs>